Vivo, então vai ser um pouco difícil mesmo. Já tá em inglês? O professor está GPT. O GPT acertou, né? Mas. Ok, então é fácil. Dona Isa e Dr. Setebrino were more than just. Oh, no, I started at the wrong spot. The end of a cycle is like the final chapter of a book where the pages close, but the stories and memories endure eternally. The closure of Dona Isa and Dr. Setembrino's home is a moment of reflection on the richness of a journey lived in a special and welcoming abode. Dona Isa and Dr. Setembrino were more than just homeowners. They were guardians of a space where generosity and hospitality were cultivated like flowers in the garden of life. The house was always a refuge open to all, a place where strangers became friends and friends became family. Their table, the epicenter of countless meals, was an altar where stories were shared, laughter echoed, and bonds were strengthened. From the simplest days with soul-warming coffee without sugar, to banquets marking special occasion, each meal at that table was a ritual of connection and sharing. It was more than food. It was the substance of meaningful relationships that shaped the trajectory of those who crossed the threshold of that home. Dona Isa and Dr. Setebrino were special, not only for their hospitality, but also for the authenticity that permeated each gesture. Their lives were a testimony to compassion and kindness, lessons that resonate for beyond the, far beyond the walls of the now silent house. It was a home that not only housed bodies, but also nurtured souls. Today, as we physically close the doors of the house, we open the doors of gratitude in our hearts. We are thankful for having shared precious moments with Dona Isa and Dr. Setembrino, for being part of the intertwined stories that unfolded in these welcoming rooms. Each laugh, each conversation at the table is a brick in the construction of the fortress of friendship we built together. Even at distance, the presence of Dona Isa and Dr. Setembrino remains alive in our lives. Their teachings and values continue to guide our choices and the memories of those shared meals are a guiding thread that binds our hearts. Physical separation does not diminish their importance. On the contrary, it highlights the depth and durability of the impact they had on us. The closure of the house is more than the end of a chapter. It is a transition to a new phase where the seeds planted in those experiences bear fruit in our personal journey. Gratitude is the glue that binds these memories and hope is the light that illuminates the path ahead. Thus, we close the book on Dona Isa and Dr. Setembrino's home, not with sadness, but with a smile of appreciation for the colorful pages that filled our lives. And even though the doors are now closed, the legacy of love, generosity, and unity remains like a beacon guiding us through the as yet written, unwritten pages of our own journey. Nice. Are you just translating that off the top? I thought it was. <laughs>